Inspector Cole's character analysis, Arthur Burling. Arthur Burling is very patriarchal, he is also manipulative, and he uses dramatic irony. And the examples you could use for that are when he talks about the Titanic and the war, and he talks about a prosperous future, which we all know did not happen. He is very negative and dismissive towards the inspector. He has got capitalist and even right-wing views and he doesn't change much and his right wing views are actually very extreme which makes it bad. He's worked up for his present social status and he feels that he needs to be respected. The book calls him a hard-headed practical man of business, also a prosperous manufacturer. Um, and we also see that he doesn't care about lower classes and feel that and he feels that women are inferior and this we can see when he um, makes Sheila and Sybil uh, leave the room when Eric's um, confessing. He doesn't like to be questioned and likes to import his authority and this is clearly evident when the inspector is interrogating him. Um, Art Berling seems very dismissive and he, and he repeats the phrase, I do not like your tone, so many times. And we can see that he abused his power and authority over Eva Smith which started the whole problem out. We also see that the book um, talks about him by saying fairly easy manners but rather provincial in his speech and this is from the stage directions at the start. The stage directions also say that he's very um, um, that he's in his um, 50s and he and plus you could also say that he appears foolish in his speech because when this play was actually performed, people would obviously know that all his future predictions of prosperity didn't actually happen. So he would sound a bit foolish. And we also see that he's a bit selfish, self-involved, proud, and he's business-minded. He's pompous and he's very loquacious. He loves to talk. The, and the stage directions also call him as being um, heavy-looking which kind of gives you a picture of what he might look like. He feels that women need to be protected, therefore he uh, insists on Sheila and Sybil leaving, like we talked about this before. And we also see that um, he didn't accept his responsibility for his actions from the beginning, when he was accused of um, firing Eva Smith. He always thought that he was on the right. He didn't, he didn't really think that increasing a small amount of their wages was a good idea because he was very selfish and was looking for a profit. Not that it would have made a big difference to his profit anyway. He's obsessed with his status and reputation and this is very evident when he says give thousands because it shows that he would even give a bribe to hide the scandal and maintain a good reputation than actually go through the pain that he's supposed to go through for his actions. And his views of the working class are just like, he just views them as being cheap labour. And we also see that um, Arthur Burling feels that a man is only responsible for himself and not for others at all. This is very, very uh, clear when he says a man has to mind his own business and look after himself. And the inspector contradicts him and and Arthur Burling, for once, needs to take orders, and that's what makes Arthur Burling very dismissive. And at the end, it's very clear that he was um, he was very happy to find out that, at least for a short while, that the inspector was a fake. Um, and it was all about um, his public image, and he didn't really learn from it, and he did not mature whatsoever. And he was very selfish and stubborn in his views and didn't want to change at all.